Thank you so much. I'm your producer, great. Nigerian people need to understand what His Excellency Mr. Pito B had in mind when he said, I must be president. If not today, then tomorrow. If not today, then tomorrow does not mean that Pito B has given up his mandate given to him by the Nigerian people. It does not mean that he has surrendered to Tinubu or is going to withdraw the petition. No. I must be president if not today. Today means May 29. That's what today stands for. May 29. He may not be sworn in on May 29 because of the case still pending and the activities of uh, Mahmoud Yakubu that gave uh, a certificate of return to the man everybody knows that's not the will of the people. So Peter B is saying there is faith, absolute faith in God that justice will be done. So, uh, if he is not sworn in on May 29, that is today, he will surely recover his mandate and will still be sworn in, that is tomorrow. That is the sense of saying, I must be president, if not today, then tomorrow. It does not in any way indicate that he is giving up the mandate given to him by the Nigerian people. No, 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 no. That's not the reason. The, some media houses are misinterpreting it. The word to be said. Some are talking about, uh, okay, if not uh, this thing, he's talking about he may contest again in 2027. No, it has nothing to do with 2027. If not today, May 29, then tomorrow, when he recovers his mandate, he will still be sworn in. So, as for whether he will be president, the people of Nigeria had already given him his mandate, which was stolen and which must be recovered. So let nobody misinterpret what Peter B said and create a false impression. It's uncalled for. The stolen mandate must be recovered. That's what Peter B is saying. Surely he will recover the stolen mandate. He, he may not be sworn in on May 29, that's today. But as for whether he will be sworn in as president of Nigeria is something that will surely come to pass. Because the February 25th presidential election, Peter B is the clear winner. Everybody knows that. So the mandate will surely be recovered. Please share this video. Let this false impression be created, be corrected. That look, Peter B has not given up his mandate. The mandate belongs to the Nigerian people. So he has no authority to give it up. He has no authority to dialogue with anybody. He has no authority to settle with anybody. They have invited him to the inauguration of uh, Tinubu. We are still praying and believing God that justice will be done. And that inauguration may not be, because it's not the will of God. It's not the will of God. Everybody knows it's not the will of God. So let us be strong in faith that justice will surely come the way of the Nigerian people. Share this video and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you and God bless you.